quick notification, guys. Once again, today I will be streaming on Twitch. Uh, link is below in the description. I will put it as the first link instead of one of the last links just to help you guys out. Anyways, besides that, enjoy this video. This is uh, basically what I did so far this weekend on my RS3 account. As you guys know, uh, it was Slayer weekend, basically, or Charm weekend, or whatever you want to call it. So, all kinds of games in this bitch. Yeah. 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 I love all bitches. I don't swear over bitches. Bitch, poor slave bitches. Smart, dumb, crazy bitches. Screw, horny, dirty bitches. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to kind of reveal to you guys what I did this weekend during the Slayer weekend. Uh, as for me though, you would obviously call this Charm weekend, not Slayer weekend. But as you guys see, uh, 60 million range and 70 million magic experience uh, I did get. And I also got 60 million hit points, which I didn't really record because I don't really consider hit points much of a skill because you never really like, train it. Anyways, Lego. Alright guys, so this here is a picture of the weekend. I think it started on Friday, but I kind of started late because I didn't really notice that it was actually uh, plus one charm. It wasn't exactly double charm this weekend, but it was plus one. So if you get one originally from the drop, you would get two. So it's technically double for most Slayer tasks and most monsters that you kill. So anyways, I started off this weekend with 47,000 crimsons, 4,000 blues. You, know, you guys can see those numbers right there. And this is my first trip actually at uh, the Dagonos. As you guys know, I've made many videos where I've talked a little bit while at Dagonos. Um, you can camp them on the Water Birth Island uh, right before you go to the Dag Kings and basically those things, Dag Kings, whatever. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will show you guys in a second anyways because I'm currently still online. Um, but yes, so uh, my first trip was that. I only banked because of warbands and things like that. I still did warbands this weekend and whatnot, uh, but I mostly just banked for things like that and farm runs as well. So this weekend I started off with 170,000 cannonballs. The first trip lasted about 10,000 cannonballs. Uh, even though a trip here can basically last forever until you run out of cannonballs or runes, which will take me a little while, I guess. And I start off with roughly 234,000 death runes, I guess you would say, and like 2.7 mil earth runes. And here is now me, guys, in the live game. As you guys can tell, my charms have dramatically changed this weekend. So here's the reason why I chose to do uh, summoning instead of... Actually, I'm on old scoring now, so I might as well just kind of... Oh, look, I got a random. Too bad he can't kill me. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, there. There we go. Get out of here. Now, this weekend's actually over in uh, roughly an hour and a half. I'm probably going to go to bed now, though, anyways, after I record this video, just because I don't really need to be up right now if I don't really want to be. And I'm not really tired, but... Trying to fix my sleeping schedule. I have uh, fixed it the past few days, and for some reason tonight I, I decided to continue doing this instead of going to bed like two hours ago. Uh, let me just quickly drop my fish. There we go, good boy. But anyways, the reason I chose not to do Slayer, guys, uh, was because realistically you should never, ever, ever bother with any type of bonus Slayer experience. Never use a book on Slayer. Never do anything to do with Slayer. Just train Slayer the way you're supposed to. Um, I'm not really too sure if Cal Fight King back in the day where you could... Um, you can kind of, uh, well, I think you still kind of can, but basically you would do like Cal Fight King Mass, and you would, uh, in a way, just do max DPS compared to anyone else, and you would get like an 8k XP drop or something at Cal Fight King. I'm not really too sure if you can do that anymore. But even that wasn't too much more efficient than just doing Slayer regularly. And the reason for that is just simply because after 200 mil Slayer, you would still have a lot of combat experience left to finish off at 200 mil, uh, which technically means you can continue to train Slayer after 200 mil. Um, but obviously there's a few methods that are a little bit faster than just training Slayer strictly um, for combat experience. So, I mean, there's technically no point of ever boosting Slayer. But of course, because it is one of the slower skills, I guess you can call it, uh, most people decide to just go as fast as they can with it, so they want to use bonus on it and whatnot, but there's absolutely no point of it. And realistically, for summoning as well, there's kind of no point of ever getting bonus charms or getting anything like that, because summoning you will get to an mill with. If you just wait for a double experience weekend, you just use all your charms that weekend, and you should get to an mill if you got to Intermill Slayer. But to Intermill Slayer isn't really a goal in this account that I have at all, so um, yeah, I decided to camp charms instead. And as you guys can see, I went up just about, what is that, fucking 40, almost 40,000, or pretty close, over about 37,000, yeah, around there. Now this method is roughly a thousand crimsons, I believe, an hour, just around there, something like that. So um, I could have played obviously a lot more this weekend, but I didn't really make myself no life this crap, because I just don't really want to. Um, but yeah, it's roughly a thousand crimsons an hour. And normally it's, uh, I guess, 500 crimsons an hour. That is normally if you are in a populated world, though. Lately I've been just on like a regular world, so uh, it's not exactly the fastest experience I'm gaining. But yes, I do believe actually if I use these charms on a double experience weekend, I will achieve 120 summoning, which is kind of interesting. But um, yeah, here's my current uh, summoning experience. 18.8 uh, million, so close to 20 million, let's just say. Uh, which leaves me with uh, 84 mil to go. 
And I believe Crimson's are roughly 500 XP flat if you have, like, Raf and Eva and the Outfit or something like that, like 440, I believe, something like that. And then all that extra, I'm just going to round up to, like, 500 XP. Um, so I have, uh, like, I guess, what is that, 40-ish mil experience almost, a little bit more than 40 mil. If you double that, it's roughly 80-something mil, including a double experience weekend. So I think I actually had 120 summoning banked on my newbie account. Eh, newbie account, I know. I should stop saying that. So anyways, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video, just to show you guys that. But one more thing I did want to show you guys, because um, I'm sure some of you guys might be wondering about this method. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is where I am. That's where you go for the DKs, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm on this side rather than that side. So when you run east, you'll you know set the cannon up around here. I'm not really too sure what's the most efficient spot. Um, I find this spot decent. You can maybe go more over here, maybe more over here. I don't really know, honestly. But I want to show you guys how expensive uh, camping here is compared to other things. Um, so first of all, probably the best spot for most of people, most of the people that are watching this video, at least to go to for charms, is Water Fiends. They are a very good experience for range, mage, and melee. Um, I think range is probably the best because they're also weak to like bolts or some crap or arrows or something like that. Um, but I'm not too sure if that makes too much of a difference when you're using tier 90 gear anyways. Or I guess tier 90 weapons in this case, not too much worried about the gear. But yeah, Water Fiends are, I think are roughly 400-ish crimsons an hour, so it's not much less than here. Uh, and it is good experience and it is free experience. That's like the number one issue right there um, So if I were you guys and you're not too rich or anything, you're not too much extra money uh, I would say just camp water fiends. The only issue is that it's not AFK And since I have been on old school for most of this weekend, I've been doing super heating and things like that um, Not an AFK thing to do. So obviously I can't really do water fiends at the same time So I chose the camp here instead, but XP an hour here is roughly 300k mage I believe I was roughly getting sometimes and about 150k range. So range is roughly half of the mage XP you get uh, which is 450k experience in total, and then not including the HP and whatnot. So anyways, this is the total of money or total of items that I've lost. So I start with 200, let's just say 34,000 death runes, like I said earlier, and I have 175,000 left. So 25,000 plus 34,000, 60,000-ish. So yes, I use roughly uh, that many, and they're roughly 300 each, so you can do the math there. Um, and cannonballs, uh, believe it or not, I actually bought myself 50,000 cannonballs. I didn't know if I was going to use all mine or not, but... Um, I bought myself 50,000 cannonballs as well this weekend, and I started with roughly 170,000, and I have this many left. So I used roughly 80,000 cannonballs-ish as well this weekend. And then you add the 50,000 that I bought, because realistically, I actually have 42,000 cannonballs left, and I started with 170,000. So I used that many cannonballs this weekend, and as you see, um, not that cheap. So that's what, like 130,000 cannonballs or somewhere around there? I'm not really using a calculator or anything. Um, so times that by like, I don't know, about 400 each, I think most of them I bought for. Um, and then include the runes. So as you can see, it's a very expensive method. Uh, and in this process, I got my 34,000 crimsons. Um, I think it was, right? I forget these numbers here. Yeah, roughly around there. Uh, but this would have only been 17,000 if there was no bonus uh, for charms. So um, kind of up to you guys, I guess. Uh, just divide everything by two, and that's what you would have originally got. Well, besides the runes and the cannonball, so just divide the charms, I meant to say the charms, um, divide the charms by two, so roughly 17,000 crimsons this weekend, and I don't know if you want to really count the golds and greens or whatnot, but it's a fuck lot of gold, it's I think roughly uh, half the gold is amount of, as many crimsons as you get, so if you get 10,000 crimsons, you get 5,000 gold charms. But yeah, as you can see, it is very expensive to camp here, honestly, I don't really know why I'm even doing it, mostly just because it is AFK, but um, yeah, so for, for 17,000 crimson charms, I spent... I don't even know. It's probably over like 70 plus mil at least. Roughly, what, 20 mil in death runes and in cannonballs. Oh boy, I don't know how many cannonballs I use again. 130,000 was it? Somewhere around there. So times that by like, let's just say 400. So yeah, 52 mil in that as well. So um, yeah, I, I used a buttload of money this weekend and I only got, you know, 17,000 crimson. So as I said, you're probably better off to kill water fiends just because they are. Um, Obviously not going to cost you any money, and it's roughly the same XP and charms. Tiny bit less than the charms, but they're still very decent compared to this method. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap this video up for you guys. So that was basically my weekend and how much uh, I did. Um, so yeah, uh, overall view of this is that it's very expensive, but it is very relaxing if you're doing other things. Um, so I don't know if it's really for you guys or not, but it is definitely a good method for charms if you are looking to kind of AFK. But yeah, I guess if we do get a double experience weekend someday, then I will probably use these charms. I don't really see why not. It won't take me much more than a day. 
And then I will have the 120 summoning cape, which is actually a pretty sweet cape, I think, even though it's been devalued like crazy with all the double experience week. And it's like literally training half of the skill only. But yeah, now I'm going to probably, uh, I might just continue staying here until I decide to go to bed. And then I might actually just go to the Abyss for like another week or so. Um, and if I camp the Abyss with already being 70 mil mage, I think I could pretty easily, I think it's like 600k plus an hour for mage. Um, so I could probably get uh, 120 and actually a week. But yeah, that's just a bit of the progress I made while playing old school. If I'm going to be going for max on old school, I may as well just do something like this on the side. Um, I did log on to my Iron Man account today, if anyone's going to be wondering. I actually recently just bought a bond for it. Uh, which, by the way, if you guys don't know, you can trade a bond to an Iron Man account. Uh, but you have to buy it on your main account or account you're trading it with. And then you got to clean it yourself, so you got to pay the tax, whatever it is. Um, so I bought one today for like 7.5 mil, I think it was. So I cleaned it for like 680k. And then I traded it to my Iron Man account. And then I used it for my membership days. So I have 14 days membership on my Iron Man account. And all I did today was do a little bit of uh, cave fish fishing, and then I decided to stream, so I kind of just logged out, because taking care of three accounts while streaming, it's a bit much, I don't really want to bother with that, so I just decided to stick to these two accounts while streaming, which was much more relaxing. And as you can probably tell by my voice, I am losing it slowly. Whenever, you tend to, whenever I tend to at least stream for a while, I lose my voice very quickly, which is probably why I'll never want to stream for 24 hours, because I would have to probably not talk for like a good five hours flat so I can regain my voice or some shit. So, plus the voice cracks are always great. So hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And of course the stumbles are great too. Um, or the stutters, same shit. I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, tell me what you guys did this weekend, I guess, for and before I went outside this weekend. I had a life, you loser. For all you that played RuneScape this weekend, what the fuck did you do this weekend?